Give them a round of applause for all they have done for the Burlington community. Last week, CHOP's American Bar and Grill held a gathering for the winners of its annual community recognition competition, CHOP's Champions. CHOP's Champions is an annual event that recognizes six local heroes of the Burlington community from the following categories. Technology, healthcare, education, business, military first responders, and community. Pyramid Hotel Group, which is the management company, uh, and the Burlington Marriott um, came up with this idea. And what they wanted to do was recognize community leaders and the folks that really gave back to the community. And what we wanted to do was also highlight them. And um, so by doing that, we select six CHOPS champions in each of the uh, six different areas. And we donate $1,000 in their name to the charity of their choice. Each contender shared their thoughts on becoming this year's winner of CHOPS champions. I'm very excited. I feel very honored, honestly. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of caught me by surprise. You know, every day you go to work, you do your thing, and you know, you, you do extra things, and you try to put yourself involved in the community, and then you turn around and you find out that uh, you win an award for it. So it was, a, it was a surprise. It was a pleasant surprise. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a fantastic. Uh, I was honored by the uh, Burlington Chamber, put my name in, and uh, I never thought that I would have a shot, but uh, that's how it went. The chamber put me in and a lot of people voted for me, so I'm really happy and, and honored. I was very surprised because there were so many other candidates and everybody was really extremely well qualified, so I was very excited to say the least. Oh my God, it's the most amazing thing in the whole entire world. I'm very blessed, thank you very much. I'm so honored and excited, and my best friend Cheryl nominated me, and I'm thrilled to pieces. Very excited. The Marriott and Chops will donate $1,000 to a charity of the winner's choice. Relay for Life of um, Burlington. I'm, I'm a breast cancer survivor, so I feel very. Um, uh, it's sort of sort of a personal cause for me to um, to donate to them. And and uh, and Cheryl and Julie Quinn have been uh, really great advocates here in Burlington, and um, I'm, I'm very appreciative of that. So every year, the eighth grade puts together a fundraiser that donates money to local families in need. Uh, one of the families in need has a child that uh, goes to one of the elementary schools who's uh, unfortunately suffering from child, you know, childhood cancer. And so uh, this child was getting treatment at uh, Mass General Hospital, and so the money was donated towards Mass General Hospital, specifically the, the treatment center where this child's being, you know, taken care of. We went with the MS Society. Uh, my wife has had MS for uh, almost 40 years, and uh, I felt it was appropriate. Donating right to the uh, people, helping people, and uh, we do so many other things uh, during the year. We support, you know, we support the Burlington Food Pantry as well as Youth and Family Services. So the money will come in very handy. The Shoba Learning Group, because uh, my son has autism, and uh, it's a great group of people, and they help kids and adults uh, with autism. I donated to Relay for Life, and also for the Connor Flanagan Foundation, who um, they donate a lot of money to Children's Hospital in Boston for cancer. Finally, it's all about giving back to the community. Really, it's about people giving back. Um, you know, we're a community leader too, being uh, the largest hotel in the community. Um, the chamber and everybody looks at this hotel as their hotel. So we feel it's important to give back, along with highlighting uh, the individuals, you know, um, the teachers and, uh, you know, military and first responders, uh, technology, general business. Th those individuals that give back to, we want to be able to highlight that, and this is how we're doing it. From CHOPS, I'm Robert Paris for B News Weekly.